All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm back here in a 2013 uh, Dodge Avenger. Uh, so you might have been driving and you found out that your light on your dashboard came on as a um, red lightning bolt with like a swervy car situation. And then all of a sudden your car goes into what's called limp mode. And that means that the engine um, goes to a safe operating range and just enough to get you home. Hence limp mode. So what we're doing here today is that um, doing some research online and they're saying that the the red uh, lightning bolt on the <clears throat> on the dashboard is actually <clears throat> something to do with the uh, car's throttle body system, throttle uh, positioning uh, sensor. So just as a quick, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and replace the throttle positioning sensor. But uh, as you open up your car, uh, this is actually a pretty easy job so far. You're going to notice all the the paraphernalia for the air uh, air filter um, can and all the everything else. So what I did basically is removed all that stuff. So I went ahead and removed the whole air box. So that's the air box. Um, removed the the 10 millimeter bolt, and then don't worry about removing the studs here. These are just rubber grommets, and those are co-located too much light here and here. So they just pull that off. So. You remove the 10 millimeter bolt and then just pull the whole housing off. Don't forget to remove the air mass flow sensor and then the corresponding, the uh, the duct. So there's the duct. Pretty simple. You have one C clamp or one clamp here, another clamp here. Just undo those, remove the whole thing. Um, and then once that's done, then you get to what is the throttle body or the, um, sorry, not throttle body, it doesn't have fuel. The throttle positioning sensor. Um, so this is the throttle positioning sensor. Uh, there are four bolts. So there's this bracket here, as you can see. Uh, you'll need to uh, loosen this up, um, or you can completely take it off. I just loosened it up. Um, then you're gonna have four uh, 10 millimeter bolts, so big. Then you're gonna remove those four bolts, okay? And then you're gonna, once you do that, then that's the, bra the bracket's pretty clear to move and then once that's removed pull that out of the spot here and just double check double check this you know this ring here it's pretty important that there's no leakage so go ahead and clean that up um, for any induction leaks I haven't got the actual new part yet but I assume that they're gonna have this new gasket but that's just an assumption on my part and go ahead and you stick your finger down Obviously there's some oil, so that's because of one of these lines here, probably this, um, probably this line here, I have it connected, I have it disconnected, that goes back, probably, well frankly I don't know, I'm going to have to investigate that. Anyways, this is just a removal of the throttle body. Um, so when you're installing your new throttle body, you're going to see these two studs here, okay, that's basically a, a no mess up or a no brainer. Meaning, you, know, you see on the back of the throttle body here, where the four bolts actually go into, are those two studs. So this can only go on one way. I mean, unless you're really trying to mess it up, I mean, that's, that's on you, but realistically, it can only go on one way. Um, and then once that's installed back, you put your four bolts back in, um, you put these on, and then, and then you tighten up this bracket. So. Uh, locate it or replace it put it on make sure you have the new o-ring and or if this is fine just uh make sure it's clean no uh, contamination four bolts put your and then tighten this up then you go ahead and just reinstall uh the lower piece here your actual air duct and just place that all back as you as you removed it uh, pretty straightforward um not even 10 minutes into the job, and I'm already have the, th the uh, throttle positioning sensor off. So, all right, um, that's how to remove it, and that's what the light tells me to do. I'm not gonna be able to tell you if it actually fixes it or not. I'll, I'll probably write it in the description. All right, have a good one, cheers.